Hi, it's Reagan Cypher. Welcome to my 2023 TWS Call Quality Test Series, where we put Bluetooth earbuds under $100 through a variety of different scenario-based tests to see if you can get decent quality calls under 100 bucks. If you've seen my 2021 and 2022 videos, hopefully you'll have some idea what to expect. Something I learned from these experiences is that TWS aren't necessarily good or bad at calls. They tend to perform better or worse in different scenarios depending on a number of different variables. Some could perform well indoors but not necessarily outdoors and vice versa. So something that I'm doing a little bit different for 2023 is rather than doing one blanket test, we'll be doing a three part series in which we'll be putting them through different scenarios. The first of which is gonna be in a very busy indoor environment, a coffee shop. And it is in a real life coffee shop because I don't like introducing simulated background noise into static environments. I don't feel that that works particularly well at reflecting real life. So we're gonna be taking our batch of 30 plus earbuds into the coffee shop here in the UK and seeing how they perform. So which earbuds are we testing today? Well, everything has to be under $100. So we've got some former flagship models, some of the likes of Oppo, OnePlus, Soundcore and Huawei. We've got some of those mid-tier products which are very popular from the likes of Soundbeats and Earphone. And then we've got some ultra low budget ones which have really punched above their weight from the likes of QCY, Tronsmart and one more. So without further ado, let's get on with part one of my 2023 core quality test, busy indoor environment. You're gonna hear a sample of what the sound was like taken from my Sony Xperia 1 IV. So you know just how difficult it was for the earbuds to be able to cope with those environmental sounds. And I've used ProTake Professional Edition, which doesn't have any additional compression or any additional noise reduction functions. It's a true representation of what you're likely to hear on an Android device when you're making or taking your calls. And here we go. This is the level of ambient noise in the scene that each of the earbuds had to deal with. As you can tell, it's pretty noisy. We've got indistinct chatter from nearby conversations. We've got the noise of the baristas. We've got people walking past the scene, which introduces other types of noise as well. So it's a very challenging environment for any TWS. But let's go through each of the individual models now, and we'll start with those slightly higher budget models in the selection. So this time around, we are testing the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro. A very popular model, especially with Android owners due to having the LDAC support, fantastic sound, good AMC, and the call quality, if I remember correctly, was pretty good too. But we're revisiting it for 2023 and seeing how it performs in a very busy indoor environment. We're in a coffee shop currently, so this is how you can expect the bugs to perform in a similarly busy environment. It's another one from Upper the Oppo Enco X2 and this is a more premium offering from Oppo. It's priced a little bit more expensive than the Air 3 which we tested previously and the specifications are reflected in that increased price. On the outdoor test they didn't do quite as well as I was expecting although indoors I'm expecting them to perform a little bit better. They haven't been reviewed on my channel yet, but I'll be doing a comparison very soon between these and some of the others which are of a similar ilk where we're getting to that point where there's going to be the next iteration of it very soon. So they're starting to drop the price a little bit. I think these up for around £70 and it's an absolute bargain because the sound is fantastic. Although I still have no idea about how they perform on indoor calls when it's busy in this coffee shop environment like it is right now. That's the Oppo Enco X2. The Neobuds Pro from Edifier is another which will feature on my Are They Still Worth It video. And they were actually on my full quality test back in 2022, where they performed pretty well. 
certainly at reducing the background sounds around you and there's an extra one there with a barista shouting pretty loud which I can even hear over and above the active noise cancellation. So yeah, how do they perform at getting rid of those noises around you and elevating your own voice? As I said on that 2022 test, they were good at reducing the sound but not so good at giving your voice extra clarity so you could come across a little bit muffled. But still a reasonable performer. Let's see how they fare compared to some of the newer competition in 2023. The OnePlus Buds Pro, a little bit old now. We're already on the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in 2023. Unfortunately, OnePlus haven't sent me that or, or this model even. These came out of my own pocket. So it could be a little while before we step to OnePlus Buds Pro 2. You can pick these up actually at a reduced price right now, as is the case with a lot of similar earbuds that have been out for a while. And we put them through the, the test in 2022 to see how they performed on Corvus Outdoors. This time around, we're testing how they perform in a very busy indoor environment in a coffee shop where it's a real test for the earbuds to try and separate your voice from those ambient sounds around you. Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, AKA the Beams, also featured on my 2022 call quality test. And I wouldn't say they were a star performer, but they certainly didn't perform too badly. They're a little bit old now, and it would be nice if Samsung updated this model at some point for those of us that don't like silicone fits. But even so, the call quality was okay, and I think they're still going to stand the test of time in 2023 in this very busy coffee shop environment, which is a real test, as you've seen, for different models of earbuds. Next up, it is the, uh, next up is the Huawei FreeBuds Pro, the original FreeBuds Pro. Another one which will probably be featuring on my Are They Still Worth It in 2023 video. These went through the test in 2022. In terms of core quality, certainly outdoors. Indoors, I can't remember how they performed. And as I mentioned previously, this is the first time that we've tested all of these models out in such a busy environment. We're looking to see how they perform in a coffee shop or in a busy office or a school, something like that. And that's going to be reflected in this test. Interested to hear how the FreeBuds Pro perform at separating your voice from those ambient sounds going on around you. So this time around we're testing the Earfun Air Pro 3 in a busy coffee shop. So if you've got to make or take a call in a busy coffee shop or a busy classroom or an office, something like that, this is how you can expect your voice to sound at the other end of the line. What we're looking for here is how good they are at being able to distinguish your voice from those many indistinct, distant conversations which we've got going on around you. Okay, so we are testing this time the Soundpeak Capsule 3 Pro, a 2023 release from Soundpeak, to see how they perform in a busy indoor environment. We're in a coffee shop here. So, testing what it would sound like if you were in a coffee shop or a busy office or a classroom or corridor or something like that. That is the Soundpeaks Capsule 3 Pro. The Mini Pro HS from Soundpeaks is another quite recent release, but it's still been long enough that I've forgotten how good the active noise cancellation is. Suddenly there's a low rumbling sound, I'm barely hearing it, including the prompt to start the recording. I couldn't particularly hear it very well. so. That's uh, one thing in the Mini Pro HS's favour. In terms of call quality, I don't think they were that great, although, as I mentioned earlier, my memory isn't great. Let's see how they perform in this very busy coffee shop, which is a real test for earbuds of this type. Okay, this time we're in a busy coffee shop and testing the Soundpeak Engine 4 once again. See how they perform on your calls in a busy environment where you've got a lot of interesting chatter going on around you. So it could be the busy coffee shop, which we're in. It could be a busy office, something like that. Looking forward here is how well the bugs perform at distinguishing your voice from that interesting chatter which is going around you. The H1 from Soundpeak is another slightly older earbud. Again, I think it was released in 2021 after a very successful Kickstarter campaign. The specifications are still quite current, but Soundpeak has released so many models since then. 
the Opera series and the Mini Pro HF and the capsule and the engine, as you've probably heard many of them in this full quality video. Because of the shape, I think particularly because there's no mic near to your mouth, they really struggle to pick your voice up and uh, you're picking up a lot of the environmental sound. So I'm not expecting them to perform particularly well, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, it's the uh, H2 from Soundpiece. Don't even know if this is the current model, but it's still very popular. I see it popping up on Reddit and other uh, websites like Headfire where people talk about their favorite earbuds. And the H2 are solid performers, certainly in terms of the sound quality. On calls, I don't remember them being that great, but this is a refresher. I said it's not a current model, it's a 2021 or 2022 model. And they did feature on my 2022 call quality test. Let's see how they perform in this busy coffee shop in 2023. The Air 3 Deluxe HS from Soundpeak is the most recent addition to the Air 3 product range, where they've added LDAC support and improved not only the sound, but also call quality too. Certainly outdoors, when we put them through the initial tests, they perform very well. But this is the first time testing them in a really busy indoor environment where it's imperative that your voice is lifted over and above those environmental sounds which can scupper your voice calls, such as nearby conversations and the general noise that you get in a coffee shop. Time for the original Air 3 from Soundpeak. This one is still popular with consumers as well, despite the Air 3 Deluxe HS having superseded it. I think in certain countries you can't pick that up, so the Air 3 is still a popular choice, especially given that it's quite a little bit cheaper nowadays. If I remember rightly, it didn't perform quite as well on calls as the uh, Deluxe HS has, but it was still a solid performer in that sub $40 price category. The key for Feel, another one which was reviewed on this channel, performed reasonably well actually in the outdoor test. Again, it's been a little while since I've put them through call quality tests, and it'll be interesting to see how they perform against certainly other semi in ear buds because they tend to be one of those models that has good price performance parity, so I do tend to recommend them. Which I probably shouldn't, having not reviewed their call quality compared to some of those other newer releases like the Edifier and the Soundbeats Air 3 Deluxe HS. So let's see how they perform in this busy coffee shop test where you've got a real mixture of ambient sounds which can get in the way of you trying to make a voice call. The W220T from Edifier are a semi in earbud. Again, I reviewed them on this channel not so long ago. They also have the Aptex voice feature, which is available with certain Qualcomm chip based earbuds. And if I remember rightly, your voice calls come through really loud, although it does still pick up some background noise, but it lifts your voice up really loud. Certainly that was the case on the outdoor call test. Indoors, this is the first time I've put them through the busy coffee shop type of environment where we're looking to see if your voice comes through clear over and above those environmental sounds that you've got going on around you, such as indistinct chatter from nearby conversations, the baristas making coffee and the noise of crockery uh, rattling around which you can probably hear there in the background or maybe you can't let's see this time it's the busy coffee shop test for the oppo enco air 3. what we're looking for this time around is how well they perform at distinguishing your voice from the many indistinct conversations which you've got going on around you so this is what you can expect expect your voice to sound like at the other end of the line when you're in a coffee shop or in a busy office and you're trying to make or take a call in that scenario. Next up it is the Yo Vivo Expo. Bit of a mouthful. <laughs> it was also released as an OEM product under the Lenovo name. I think it's the X10 or X30 or something like that. This is what you can expect as a mic to sound like on both of those models. I reviewed it on this channel a while ago, and if I remember rightly, of course it was okay, but nothing special. And that's reflected in the price. I think the Lenovo model of these is changing hands to about £12, something like that. So we're not expecting the Gold Quality to be particularly great, but let's see. The Life Note 3S 
from Soundcore. It's another semi in ear model, and it's a little bit old now. It was released almost two years ago. I think it's reflected in the call quality test, which I did certainly from an outdoor perspective where they didn't perform quite as well. Indoors, this is the first time really that we put them through a really strenuous test, like the busy coffee shop where you've got those mixtures of different environmental sounds which get in the way of the clarity of your phone calls. So next up it is the sound tour. Oh my god, I can't remember the name of the model. Uh, this one. The sound tour, I think it's the uh, uh, C3i. So again, one that I haven't reviewed yet, so I'm listening to these back for the first time in terms of how their call quality is in a really busy environment. If you hadn't already already guessed it, we're in a coffee shop. A very, very busy coffee shop where you've got a real mixture of environmental sounds, indistinct chatter, and the noises of the baristas making flat white and whatever else they're cooking up. So, yeah, I'm interested to hear how it performs with separating your voice from those sounds around you. That is the Soundcore P2i. This time around, we're putting the Soundcore Life P2i through the busy coffee shop for quality products. So if you're in a busy coffee shop or a busy office, maybe a classroom, something like that, where you've got a lot of indistinct chatter going on around you, this is how you can set your voice to sound on the other end of the line when you're taking or making a call in one of those scenarios. So what we're looking for here is how good it is at being able to distinguish your voice from those many indistinct conversations which are going on around you. The Realme Buds Air 3S are another of my budget picks for 2023. Just all round, really. They don't have active noise cancellation, but the sound very bass heavy, but they still do perform very well. You can check them out in my review, which was uploaded to this channel a few months ago. You pick them up for around $30, which is an absolute bargain when you consider that the course quality, certainly outdoors, performed really well in my initial test. I haven't put them through a stringent test like this one in the coffee shop environment yet, so I'm interested to see how they perform in terms of being able to separate your voice from those heavy environmental sounds which are going on, what's going on around you. This time around, it's the busy coffee shop test for the QCY HD07 ArcBud. So if you're in a busy coffee shop or a busy office or a classroom, something like that, and you've got to make or take a quick call. This is how clear your voice is going to sound at the other end of the line. What we're looking for here is how well they perform and distinguish your voice from those many indistinct conversations which you've got going on around you. The QCY HT05 Mellow Buds are one of my favorite budget earbuds for 2023, giving really excellent sound. And overall, pretty decent performance other than a few little quirks here and there. Call quality seems to be pretty decent when I did the review a few months ago, although my memory isn't what it used to be. So let's see how they're performing in this very busy coffee shop. This is what you can expect in a similarly busy environment, so maybe in a corridor, a college, school, classroom, busy office, something like that. We're looking to see how well that noise reduction performs and if your voice comes through clearly on your call. The QCY C18 were the first budget earbuds to have multi point connectivity at under around the 30 or 40 dollar mark. And back then, it was quite a feat because multi point was quite rare. But they also had some other interesting features as well, such as app tech voice. And as I've done more firmware updates on this model, the call quality has improved more and more. So I'm expecting good things from the QCY C18 in terms of how it performs on your calls in a really busy coffee shop, which is what we have here. The T13 from QCY are another top performing budget bud. It often seems to be the way with QCY because they get all of the parameters just about right and call quality is one of those aspects which they perform very well on on those initial tests certainly outdoors they perform well but indoors it's the first time we really tested them in a strenuous environment for an earbud we're in a busy coffee shop 
where there's a lot of environmental sound around you, such as baristas making coffee, illicit chatter of distant conversations, and crockery clanging around in the background there. That's the QCY C13. P16 is another model from QCY, and it's another in earbud without a stem. And generally, if you don't have a stem, the mic is a little bit further from your voice, and as a result, your voice doesn't come through quite as clearly. That's not exclusive, but it's definitely a theme which I've noticed with reviewing earbuds over these last few years. It's been a while since I put these through a core quality test, so I'm interested to hear how they perform in an indoor environment. The T20 Ailey pods from QCY are probably the biggest ripoff of the Apple AirPod Gen 3 that I've ever seen other than replica AirPods. They're shaped really similar to the Gen 3, but the performance and price are actually nowhere near what you would get with the Apple model. You can pick these up for around $20, so it's a real bargain. The sound is okay, and if I remember rightly, core quality is okay, but this is the first time in this very busy coffee shop test, which we're putting them through today. So let's see. The G1 from QCY is a gaming bud with some kind of wacky LEDs that you get on the side. In terms of how they perform on your calls, I would imagine they'll perform pretty well. It's been a while because whilst they are a current model, they were released about 18 months ago. But they're quite long in terms of the stem and where the mic is intersecting with your voice. But let's see how they perform at being able to reduce those ambient sounds around you and making your voice as clear as possible on your voice calls. The C17 is the wire, which I'm not certain, but I think it was also OEM under the Redmi Use Bud moniker. It's a in ear bud, which is particularly good for those with small ears. There's no active noise cancellation on this model, but in terms of the fit, as you can see, it's very snug. You get a nice secure fit. And in terms of poor quality, even though there's only maybe a single mic or dual mic, I don't remember, they still perform pretty well when I tested them on the outdoor. Poor quality test, although indoors, as I mentioned previously, it's very different, especially in this busy coffee shop environment, because you've got uh, a number of different sounds which can challenge earbuds in terms of how they represent your voice on your voice call. So let's see how they perform in 2023. This is another one from One More, the Piston Buds, I think they're called, and it's also rebranded under One More sister brand, OnThing. I think it's the OnThing Air 3, the original Air 3. And in terms of call quality, actually it's very good indoors when you've got absolutely nothing going on around you. But if I remember rightly, they really struggle as soon as you introduce any environmental sound. And we have plenty of that here in a coffee shop. Let's see how they perform in 2023. It's another one I've possibly forgotten the name of. It's uh, a uh, on thing. I think it's the Air 3 2. There's so many Air 3s now, you kind of just lose track of them. This is another one which was released 18 months to two years ago. And it did feature on my 2022 core quality test. I think I just got it in time to scrape it in there. So yeah, probably 2022 it was released. Lots of features on paper, but performance not so good. I don't remember how they performed on your calls, but you can pick these up typically in the UK for around 20 pounds. And you've got active noise cancellation, the Aptex. So there's a few features that you've got there which may be sought out as that's what you like, but sound wasn't great. And in terms of call quality, I don't think it was great either. But let's see how it performs in 2023. The Apollo Air from Tronsmark are still a current model, although they've been on the market quite a while. I think I reviewed them over on Head by 18 months to two years ago, and they certainly took part in my 2022 call quality test. And if I remember rightly, they performed okay, although there tended to be a little bit of crackle over the top of your voice. Let's see if that is still the case. They're in an indoor environment, there's a very different mixture of sounds which get in the way of the clarity of your phone calls such as innocent chatter from conversations going on around you, the clanging of crockery, and things like that. What are these called again? <laughs> this one, I don't even remember. I think it's the Onyx Ace Pro from Tronsmark. It's another semi-in-earbud that I reviewed on this channel sometime last year. 
it was an upgrade of the original Onyx Ace, I think it was. And in terms of cool quality, I think it was okay, as you would expect for a very budget set of earbuds. It did all right in very quiet environments, but when you've got a lot of noise, like you've got in this busy coffee shop, it tended to struggle a little bit, but give it another chance and see how it performs in 2023. The Onyx Pure from Stormsmart are an ultra low budget being driver release from 2022, and I reviewed them on this channel back then. I don't think full quality was paramount in terms of the design when they released these earbuds, especially when you anticipate the price of being below $30, I think even below $20 here in the UK. So let's see how they're performing and what you can get when you're spending about £13, £14 on a set of earbuds in terms of full quality in a very busy indoor environment. The South Beach Mini is still a current model despite being released a couple of years ago now. And I think South Beach are gearing up to release the predecessor, or the successor, sorry, the Mini HS. Let's see how it's performing on calls. I don't think that was the primary concern they had when they released this bug. It's a miniature in ear bug, which is more geared around same years and the exercise running the queue and something like that. Full quality is necessarily as big as this. So you know, I think they do have A, I, B, and C to reduce some of those environmental sounds which are going on around each time and make you as clear as possible in the event that you do have to make a take a call. The sound thing like plastic. Uh, my recommendation generally when it comes to looking for earbuds when you've got very small ears or small ear canals. The sound isn't fantastic and it's reflected in the vibe. They are very cheap, but they do stay in your ears and they will see your ears if they're a little bit smaller. They are the only model which have tested which fits the person who's holding the camera right now, <laughs> the ears, uh, my 11-year-old daughter. So uh, you can check that out in the review which was on this channel a couple of months ago. Let's hear how they perform in a very busy indoor environment. That's the life classic from something. Phew. Okay, we're finished. That's all of the models which we're putting through their paces today. Complete. I hope you found it useful and interesting. Hopefully you'll have seen that price isn't necessarily a barometer for performance. Whilst I'm not going to go through and score each of these models, I will give you a few of my observations. Now, I felt like Probably the biggest disappointment was the Oppo Enco X2, a great earbud that I use regularly because I really love the sound on it and the convenience of having multipoint. The ANC is good and the comfort is very good. For whatever reason, call quality didn't really work out for it. I don't know if this is reflected in every call that I make, although there has been a few comments that people can't hear me so well, and maybe that's why. So interesting to see that the Oppo Enco X2 didn't perform up to par. Of some of the more expensive models on the list, I felt like the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro and probably the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live were the better performing options and this is reflected in my previous tests actually, although neither model came close to the previous winner which was the Sony Link Buds. They wouldn't have got in and made the cut today because their MSRP is above $100 but there'll be a second edition of each of these different parts which will focus on more higher budget earbuds and maybe they'll squeeze into that and it'll be interested to see how they perform compared to the likes of the AirPods Pro and some of those others which are over $100. From the mid-tier buds, I felt like a lot of them were doing a lot of the same thing which was compressing background noise very well but also compressing your voice so you sounded a bit muffled and lispy including the Edify Neo Buds Pro, the OnePlus Buds Pro, the Soundcore P3i, and some of the others as well. They did okay, and certainly you wouldn't mind making or taking the odd call in this kind of environment, but if it was your primary earbud for making calls, and you're making lots of calls every day in that environment, you might want to hold out and look for something else. And there were a few surprises in the budget buds as well. I felt like the star of the show really was the Realme Buds Air 3S. Whilst your voice could sound a bit lispy and you would lose the odd word here and there, in terms of the price performance parity, it was excellent 
you're picking these up for around 25 to 30 dollars and your voice came through louder than those ambient sounds even if you couldn't make out every word still your voice was pretty clear so i felt that they performed well and some of the qcy models especially the ht05 also did very well at doing a similar thing so raising your voice up a little bit even if you could sound a little bit lispy at times Another decent performer was the One More Piston Buds or One Thing Air Free, whatever you want to call them. Despite being a couple of years old now, I felt they performed really well as well. And you could pick those up for about £15, so something like $18, something like that. That's if you can still pick them up. So yeah, a really strong performer there for the price, one that I was still quite impressed with. And the two Aptex voice models, the Edifier W220T and QCYT18, you heard your voice coming through very clearly on those models if a little bit too loud and too clear and perhaps not enough environmental noise reduction but even so the volume was very high and certainly I've had no complaints using those earbuds in the past so maybe as we start to see Snapdragon sound and Aptex voice maybe as we see those start to come through in more models we'll start to see even better performers coming through in the future. A big thank you to my 11 year old daughter who helped me with these videos. She was holding the stabilizer for quite a long time during the afternoons where these core quality tests were conducted and her arm was getting a little bit tired towards the end, hence why you saw the camera dropping a little bit. But big thank you to her. Big thank you to you guys as well for watching this and making the core quality test so popular in the past and giving me so many views. It is massively appreciated. If you can give me a like in return, that would be much appreciated. And consider subscribing to the channel for further updates, including updates on each of the individual parts, which are coming very soon, including part two, which is next, which is a busy outdoor environment. So make sure you subscribe to get notification of those dropping in your YouTube inbox very soon. For now, it's Reagan Cypher signing off.